Hey everybody, Michelle here. So I'm actually doing something so different for me. Of course, you see I'm next to my refrigerator. Um, I'm getting ready to clean it out and I thought why not bring you along and show you what's in my refrigerator before I actually clean it out. Um, before I actually start and the judging begins, um, my fridge is what it is. Um, I don't really eat that healthy. I mean, I incorporate healthy stuff. Um, I like turkey sausage, I like, you know, arugula, I love fresh garlic, I love fresh thyme, like, the list goes on, but obviously I live with somebody, um, that doesn't like the fresh ingredients, so I really have to, um, incorporate things in a certain manner. Not only that, um, I work all the time, he works all the time, he works overnight, I work in the day. So we don't really get that time together to make a fresh meal. Now we do try to make sure one day a week that we have that time off together. Now typically if you have that one day off together, you don't really want to spend it at home. You kind of want to go out, but we do have some, some stuff in here to make at home just in case. Um, but yeah, this is my refrigerator. It's a Samsung. And uh, I lived in this new house now for about two years. And something that was on our wish list um, for moving into a new home was we really wanted all the appliances to be the same brand. If you don't know, um, to resell your house, having all of your appliances to be the same brand really upsells the price. So microwave, dishwasher, oven, refrigerator, and washer dryer, all Samsung. And this is amazing. Another thing that I really like in my house is, oh, my bad. Um, we have this dimmer. So we can go a little bit darker or dark or super light. Um, so anyways, it has two big panels and then I will show you the other one in a moment. So again, it's not super healthy, nothing to get crazy over. There is a glare, everyone calm yourselves, I will fix it. So that is what my refrigerator looks like. I'm gonna bring you super close. Alright, so this is the top shelf, and I love water. Um, we always have either Dasani or we have um, Deer Park. I'm obsessed with Deer Park, and so is he. Depends where we go, but this is a must for us. So this shelf right here is always filled with water. This next shelf is kind of like, mm, um, these are all like out of array. Again, it's our refrigerator. Um, we have this little one liter of Coca-Cola. It's a must for us. We love it. And, um, I love it. The next thing I have is my stuff. And these are amazing. So this is from Bolthouse Farms. I have the strawberry banana. And I have one of my favorites. This is the strawberry parfait breakfast. So good, you guys. Shake it up a little bit. It literally has 8 grams of protein, 11, um, I'm sorry, 21 vitamins and minerals. So, so good. So we have that. We have some sweet tea. I'm a Coca-Cola girl through and through. Um, he has some Coke Zero because he's on a diet. We have some sparkling water. Um, this shelf right here, I made it a shelf to where I really wanted it to be, um, any kind of leftovers, especially if we were throwing it away. So if I don't take the trash out or if he can't take the trash out and I had to, I knew what had to go. So on this shelf, we have some deviled eggs from Easter that need to go. We have some older KFC. We have some turkey. Um, my husband had pizza last night, so that is what this boy's all about. On this shelf over here, we have some eggs. I love eggs in the morning. We have some, um, strawberry banana yogurt. We have some pudding. I actually really love YooHoo, you know. Then down here is a big thing for us. We always have a case of beer. My husband loves Bush. We're being very real. Um... 
I'm gonna push you back a little bit. Sorry for the mix. All right, so in over here, right here, um, we have some shredded lettuce. Um, I love making some croutons and this and that. We have some kiwi, one of my favorite, favorite fruits. We always have, I always have margarine in a, um, I need a different container because that's going to break. I always have margarine in a glass container because it's so easy to bake with. This is something I really love. So if I'm making pasta, um, what I actually really love to do is make extra butter or extra noodles and I will put it in a jar like this and put it in the fridge. It's actually my second one and I love butter noodles, top hands on my favorites and I will actually for lunch the next day, I will put some just a little bit of water in there and some butter some salt and pepper and put it in a microwave and girl good to go this is really cool too if you're on a diet if you're on a diet these are really cool um so these are celery packs i actually bought these because i thought i was going to do the celery juice and I never did but these are really cool actually take a Justin's peanut butter pack take a little bit of cream cheese do what you gotta do and these are only a dollar ninety eight you get four packs and there's four in a pack um I also have some goober love that we are gonna make some pizza tonight so we're actually going to trim these down and make some barbecue pizza ah, so excited for that so we're gonna make that all right next over here on these shelves we're actually i really love the sam's choice this is the double cheese please bagel ah, love that we have boom we have some arm and hammer we always have milk i don't buy a lot Oh my god, I thought that is fucking broke. We never have a lot of milk in here because um, he doesn't really drink it that much. I just like it for cereal. Um, but we have a little guy just in case you never know. You never, never know. Why is the glare happening? You know? You know, you know? Um, another thing I really love is the Land Olix butter. I usually get the red top, but since he's been more on a diet and actually falling through, I get the butter with oil and sea salt. Sour cream is a staple in my household, and so is cream cheese. Over here on this side of the door, we have some Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. I used to love the... Oh my god, the... Masterpiece, but they don't really sell it anymore. So you have some honey mustard from French's. We have some regular yellow mustard from French's. I found this the other day. I thought it was pretty cool. This is the Heinz um, jalapeno tomato ketchup. Another big staple on my house is the Frank's Red Hots. Some Parmesan cheese, and then we have some mayo. Down here, this is like the best drawer ever. I mean, ever. So we have some watches, um, grapefruit, grapefruit, mm -mm. some grape jelly, A1. Oh my God, I love this. So I literally, I will come to this area and pop the top and literally, oh my God. It's like no other. banana peppers this is a big one I will come in here open this bad boy up and literally take a whole thing and just roll out um, a big staple in our house is Hidden Valley Ranch we have some Caesar dressing this is really cool I found this at Walmart this is the french fry dipping sauce I love crispy crowns so this is really cool it's actually spicy it has like red crust chili flakes um, chili powder, paprika, 
garlic salt, um, onion powder, all that jazz. This guy over here, oh, it's basically my little drawer I V8. I have some protein powder, powder, no, protein shake. I have a little bit of chocolate. And I have the Peter Thomas Roth mask. I also have a um, eye gel. All right, so now we're gonna designate over here. So these are our drawers. Now this drawer right here has all of our cheeses. So literally guys, I have a provolone cheese, Fiesta cheese, I have mozzarella cheese for our pizza. I have some, yeah, whatever this cheese is. I have another one cheese, another thing of cheese. I have American cheese. Um, this is really cool. So this is the pizza crust we're using tonight. So it's thin and round. The Bistro Pizza, amazing, low in calories. We have some flaky biscuits. Oh, damn. We have some cinnamon rolls, and I love, love, love these cinnamon rolls because then they come in five. I don't feel guilty if I waste one. Like, I feel guilty if I waste the whole ass thing. This drawer over here keeps all of the meat. So we have some pre-cooked bacon. We have some thick, actual raw bacon. And then we have these um, soft and tender flour tortillas. So that is basically it for the fridge area. Let me pick some cheeses up that I've dropped. Um, all right. So next what we're going to do is we are going to be looking in the freezer section. Oh, yeah. Again, I don't eat healthy. So what's really cool is we have some corn adults. I really love this compartment over here. It actually comes out and I have some ice cubes. Ice cubes for me are a must in my house. I have these little masks. I have two of them. I love these. You have a headache, you, you know, don't feel good. And I have a bunch of ice packs. I think ice packs are a must in the household. So you never know. Over here, this is something that's pretty cool. So this is the Jimmy Delight. So this has 18 grams of protein, 240 calories. I love these, especially if you're getting in a rut for your breakfast. So this is actually turkey sausage. You get egg whites, diced potatoes, and um, cheddar cheese so what I do with these is actually add more cheese some sour cream hot sauce and some salt and pepper and these are amazing um we have some waffles these are pretty cool so this is from Tyson and especially if you're single and you just need something quick or for me personally my husband doesn't like these so I like that I can just buy one individual pack and just do it myself. So this is the fajita season boneless skinless chicken strip. And look how good that looks. I will literally just put this in a skillet and fry it up, add my own seasonings, and make my own quesadilla. Again, these are like a weakness of mine. I can go through bag after bag of these. Um, the only dessert stuff we have in here, these are amazing. This is Kit Kat, and this is the, um, Wafer with Fudge Dessert Cones, and these are so good. Um, the same time I got these, I actually got this right here, because I love chocolate ice cream, so good. And I have this, I haven't tried it yet, but I'm thinking, oh my god, that's going to be amazing. Then in the next, this one over here. So this over here is the Omaha drawer, meaning Omaha steaks. Literally, I have so much of these. So this is the Beef Chuck Tender Roast. I 
have literally the Omaha chicken fettuccine Alfredo. I have burgers. I have pork chops. I have more pork chops. I have another turkey breast from Omaha. I have what is this? another Omaha burgers. Their their burgers from Omaha are fucking so good. So that is the Omaha drawer, and it's always full with Omaha. Down in the other side, we have a big butterball turkey. I have no idea what we're going to do with that. Um, we have some frozen mozzarella sticks. We have some hot dogs. We have country fried steaks. We have this right here too. So this is actually breadcrumbs. If you love using breadcrumbs, which I do, I use in actually more than one dish a week. Um, if you love doing that, actually put them in your freezer because you get a better shelf life. Now, typically I would use a different bag, but I was an asshole and this is the only bag I have. So that is what is in my freezer. All right, guys, so that is what is in my freezer. That is it. That's what's in my fridge. Nothing has been staged. It is what it is. I also want to let you know for people like me that are trying to gain weight or trying to have protein in their diet, I found these the other day, and I'm so excited. They're so good. Um, so this is the um, Protein Plus Penne. It has 17 grams of protein, 7 grams of fiber, and omega-3. So go check it out. It's $1.98 at your local Walmart. All right, guys, so that is it for me. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see something else, um, I have a linen closet. I'm actually getting ready to reorganize all of my kitchen and my makeup studio. I'm also going to be able to um, make time to reorganize my space downstairs. If you want to see it, let me know. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I get my angle was probably not the greatest. Maybe I'll retry tomorrow. I originally wanted to do it in the daytime. Because I have a balcony door plus a window that has so much light. And I didn't have to rely on this light. Um, maybe I'll redo it. Hopefully you will see this video. If not, you will see something better. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. And I am going to take off this makeup and get some sleep. I love you guys so much. And again, I will see everybody in my next video.